Hey my Leo friends and welcome to my channel. I'm doing a new spread for you guys today. It's um, your energy in relation to the uh, 12 zodiacs. Um, so if you are debating between a couple people or whatever your situation is um, and you want to know what the three month prediction for a certain zodiac will be, that is what this is for. Also I will do a second spread after that. So. We'll get started right away here. All right. We are ready. Leo's. Your overall energy. Oh, nice. The hair fence. Um, commitment. Uh, taking things. Um, a traditional approach. Seeking um, guidance for some of you. Leo, if you're dealing with an Aries, you guys have... The Ten of Cups. This is a beautiful connection. This is everything um, that you could have wanted and hoped for. It's emotional success, um, personal um, prosperity, as well as family, love, and a stable home uh, in the next three months if you want to start anything with an Aries. Or this is your current energy with this. I mean, how beautiful is that? Amazing. Amazing energy. All right, Leo, if you're dealing with a cancer, or a cancer, a Taurus, I'm sorry, um, there's cause to celebrate. You could be getting married to a Taurus in the next three months. This is a, a definite celebration within um, your energy with a Taurus. That's, that's amazing. So um, I do see this relationship, if you were to be with a Taurus, to make it through the first of the year. Yeah. Gemini, you guys have the King of Swords. This person could be a little bit, uh, they don't tell you the whole truth. Um, yeah, but, um, this is also the, <coughs> excuse me, see my throat chakra is closing the Gemini ener energy. Um, but this person, uh, they they act very calculated they don't really act with emotion. They Everything's got to have a logical reason behind it. Um, I do see you um, finding success with it, this person as well. And this relationship will make it out of the end of the year. Uh, just be careful of some um, half-truths, white lies, whatever um, you want to call them. Because I do see this person has a tendency to uh, try to kind of pull the wool over your eyes just to save face or to uh, save an argument. Nice. Cancer. If you are a Leo dealing with a cancer, you guys are coming back together. This is um, a gift from the universe. Uh, very spiritual with the Hierophant and the Judgment card. Um, this, uh, like I said, this is guided by the universe. This is most definitely a gift back for you. A second chance at a relationship that didn't um, go right the first time. Leo, if you're dealing with another Leo... You guys are communicating, opening up lines of communication. You guys could have been at a distance from each other, but um, you guys are really going to um, have a positive way of communicating within this relationship. You are also possibly asking this person if they would like to um, go to counseling for some of you, um, see a, a professional to help you guys with your relationship. But I also see this one being successful throughout the first of the year. The moon for Virgos, which we are in right now. Um, for you, Leos, I do see that um, Virgo is keeping secrets in relation to a marriage that they are in. Um, this is going to be illuminated um, soon. And this relationship can go either way um, at the end of the year. I see it going both directions. Uh, for the majority of you, I do see you ending it or um, working on it with this uh, Virgo, but it'll definitely take some work, some counseling, some help, some, you know, going to the church, whatever kind of counseling you guys seek. I do see you, um, if you want to save this from this, uh, these secrets, it's going to take some outside influences um, of a professional, not your family, your friends all button in. Um but yeah, I do see that going either way. Libra. Hmm. 
this is toxic. This is toxic energy. Um, you feel chained to this person. You feel like you can't escape this person because you guys are married. Uh, yeah, you're married to this person. Um, uh, there is possibly children too, so you almost feel trapped. Leos, um, you guys will escape this uh, relationship. You will put an end to this. Um, I, I keep hearing help is coming. So um, help from your angels to get up the strength, the courage to move forward and um, get out of this codependent relationship because this is toxic for you, Leos. Scorpios, the six of cups, beautiful soulmate energy. Um, you could... Um, be married to this person already with children. This is a successful relationship. This is also a person coming back from a past life and um, starting a commitment with you. Um, you have not met this person. So there's two different groups of you there. But most definitely your connection with a Scorpio is is spot on and, and will flourish way past the first of the year. Sagittarius is, they are moving away from this energy. They are moving... Um, away from this commitment, from this uh, marriage from a Leo. If that is you dealing with a Sagittarius, they will be moving on before the end of the year. Yeah. Capricorn, the Four of Swords. So um, this person is taking a step back and resting. They have been uh, going so fast that they haven't had time to Really take the time to consider all the options. Um, they're just in need of R&R &R right now. I do see this making it through the uh, first of the year, through this tough time. Um, but you're being honest with them about something, and now they're taking some, some time to think about it. Yeah. Aquarius. Oh, you showed up in your reading, or in this reading. So, uh... Yeah, if you are a Leo dealing with an Aquarius, when the stars align, this relationship is going to come to fruition. It's going to come to a higher level of commitment when um, the stars are in alignment. This is destiny. This is destined to uh, be a spiritual connection. This Aquarius will be coming to you um, before the end of the year, Leos. I see you guys are not together right now, but they are coming in for you. It's going to be a life partner as well. And Pisces, if you are a Leo dealing with a Pisces, they are coming out of a time of holding back from you. They were holding back their emotions. They didn't know um, how they felt about this commitment. Um, they felt like they were missing out on something, even though the universe was trying to show them this blessing the whole time. They are getting out of that space, that headspace, and they are allowing their heart to uh, feel again. They're not being so, um, they're not putting that wall up anymore. They're taking that down and letting you in um, and moving into a more committed uh, relationship. So those are your 12 Zodiac um, compatibilities for the next three months. Uh, this next spread I'm going to do for you, Leo, is the first card will be you. The second card will be um, the person you're dealing with. The third card is your shared energy. Bottom of the deck is spirits. Um, three month prediction of where this relationship will be come the end of the year. Uh, this message won't resonate with everybody. It's just the message that the collective needs to hear or the majority of um, you Leos out there are dealing with. I do not choose the message. Spirit delivers that to me. So, um... If it doesn't fit, uh, check your other signs, especially your moon. Love and is in moon and Venus um, a lot of times for me. Uh, so check those signs as well. All right. One card for Leo's energy, please. All right. The three of wands and who they're dealing with. The alchemist in reverse. And their shared energy. The Eight of Pentacles. 
So, um, I'm a little confused with this alchemist in reverse. So I am going to pull a clarifier for you guys, Leo. I apologize if you can hear my dogs barking in the background. Okay. The bottom of your clarifying deck is temperance. That's beautiful. Healing, energy, um, finding balance in your life, patience. Uh, Leo, you guys had the three of wands. So um, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what is meant to be yours to be yours. You, however, um, could be waiting until somebody gets a divorce or your divorce is final or um, whatever legal documentation is done. Um, this is the karmic scales. They're out of balance. So until those come into balance, will your blessings be coming in? You uh, could be dealing with... Uh, yeah, you could be dealing with a fire sign or an air sign. But Leo... Um, yeah, they're not, they're not heading to the courthouse uh, anytime soon for what I see. But you're still remaining faithful um, or hopeful in this situation. They, however, are being manipulative and trying to pull one a fast one over on you, Leo. Um, the alchemist in reverse is destroying of their uh, their good word, their trustworthiness. Um, they are manipulating a situation. They are manipulating you. There's just, there's just toxic, uh, there's just toxic actions here. Um, could be dealing with a Virgo, um, like I said, a fire sign or an air sign. Yeah. Um, you're just kind of turning a blind eye to this. You're just, uh, diving deep in at work. You're trying not to see um, what is in front of you. And your guys' shared energy. Yeah. Yeah, you're just really diving deep at work. Is a strength in reverse. So you feel like this situation has control of you. Um, you feel like uh, there's you're losing hope. Um, you're losing hope that your ships are ever going to come in. You're losing hope that this Virgo or this air sign is ever going to get divorced. Um, you're starting to think that maybe this was all an illusion. Maybe this was lust and not love. Um, because if they really cared about you, the Leo, they would not be um, putting you through all this. So you just keep continuing to work. And yeah, and you're fearing. You're fearing um, what this actually is. This is fear of the situation. Um, Spirit's three-month predictor card is the tower, followed by the five of swords and the five of cups. So, yeah, um, you're, what you're fearing is uh, more than likely what is happening. Your blessings um, are on hold because they're not moving forward in this connection. They are making you think something that it actually isn't. So for this group of you, I um, hear that you know you've just been looking the other direction. You've been hoping that you were wrong. So if this um, resonates with you, you'll know it. If it doesn't, don't panic. Don't freak out um, because then it's not meant for you because spirit says, you know, you have been um, secretly fearing this for quite some time because it's taken a year plus for any movement. So that is what I have for you guys for your 12 Zodiac compatibility as well as your three-month predictor in that relationship. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.